Brian Uper here again. <clears throat> well, finally, cleanup day for some of the stuff. Um, pressure washing and <clears throat> cleaning up the pans and getting them ready to get put away for the year. The rest of the year, so we can start over again next year. Back pan, the drop through that we have. Started cleaning that first, or well, this is the second pan. Started taking video a little later here, but pressure wash it all down. Here's the hood and the uh, front pan. Them are already washed. We got this one partially washed. But pumping water with the tractor in the tank. And the good old pressure washer. <laughs>
down, ready for the summer to be turned back over next spring. Come back and stack all this stuff up once it dries out really good. Put it all away, clean the rest of the building out. We got two barrels of syrup here we're going to go sell. Frogs are croaking. Beautiful day out here. This beautiful. I don't know if you can hear the frogs croaking or not, but trucks loaded down, taking some stuff to our storage place where we store stuff at my brother's house and clean it up. I have one more video after this though of, of a cleaning and taking apart the, the sap lines over in the woods. That, not doing that right away, I need more help. So. Borderline Uper here again. We're out in the woods today, sun shining, beautiful day. We're out here cleaning the tube lines. We got a pump. We're pumping air and water into the uh, lines clean them out so that all the bacteria gets cleaned out of the lines. Back and rinse them. We got a bleach water solution in there right now. And we'll come back and rinse them with regular water and dry them out with an air compressor at the end of this when we're done and be good for the year. Until next spring. the water squirting out of the spouts and the air scrubs the line the air compressor you plug them up so that the water gets to the end of the line little more process at the end of the season instead of the beginning. Bags you gotta stretch through the snow at least now and there's no snow. You know that good old stuff called scrubbing bubbles that you get for your shower well it's the same concept. Scrubbing bubbles over there. So you got all those plugged over there then Reed? We're working our way back towards you, James. You got them too? Whatever you gotta do, you gotta do. Yeah, I had decent water running out over there, so. Yep. Tree's been there for a while. Well, that's it then. Go shut her down. Oh, Reed didn't plug all of them. Reed, you did miss some. You said you had them all. Well, I'm going to leave them open then if that's the case so I can get down there. Oh, well, Reed's plugging more off over there that you didn't plug off. This one's dead, and there's another one right along the road here somewhere. It's that dead. Right oh yeah, that's the one. You can almost push it with the tractor in here. These are the two. Sean ain't got no water over there?
Okay, I'm going down. We're all good, then? Well, don't plug those ones, Reed, because I don't want to blow something up. Compressor powered by the generator, and then we have injected air and in the water bleach solution up the line here so that we could clean the lines out. And that's all supplied by the good old stainless steel tank and the pump on the back of this manure spreader. So Lines have been treated. Gotta go back and get some fresh water now. get on you because it's pretty strong. It'll uh yep. Follow each line up all the way to the end. And start on a new one so you don't miss any. Cool weekend in May. We had snow flurries this year, 2020. Just north of here, they had three or four inches of snow. We didn't get that much here. Nature though, no 
go from snow that's waist deep to nothing. <laughs> and easier to walk. many lines on that side mama you're getting to be almost done until you get up towards the top end Flushing the clean water through the line. Rinsing the bleach water out. here yet either. I guarantee it ain't coming out up there, eh? Go increase it. Just rev the tractor a you're going to have to open that valve up some more or shut that valve down. like 20 psi but the the problem is as the saddles are made to suck down onto the pipe when you start pushing pressure it wants the them saddles will start leaking you got more water now I'm barely making it around the horn here I think we're going to have to plug all them lines down there that we left the ends open. I'm going to go back and plug all the ones on the end because they're not getting hardly any water up here. Yep. I know. building pressure in them. Although I hear one, it sounds like something's open. It's not open on this one. Oh, the difficulties with flushing lines. Take the air pressure down! Pressure, less air pressure, more water. Less air pressure, more water. Huh? Pump should be able to push that. Probably is half of whatever that it goes up to. I think it only pushes. Well, no, you said it pegged the gauge, eh? Yeah. Well, yeah, 
now they don't need this spurt note good up here. I mean, I think that's pretty good spurt. You know what I mean? How does he get more bubbles? Oh, it doesn't seem like you put more air in it, it doesn't. Is this on YouTube or something you found or what? Oh, what a slow process. We usually did this in the fall. We used to let the bleach water sit in the tubes all summer. We're finding that the animals are chewing on the tubes more and more when we do that. So we're trying to do it this way. So we rinse the bleach out now and dry them out, plug them back up for the summer because otherwise bugs will crawl on them. And plug them up maybe for next spring. So they got to be plugged to some sort. So I don't know which way is worse. Bags you take apart and you throw away. This way you don't have to go to trees and collect, but you got a lot more cleaning to do. Still unplugging and plugging lines. Can't get away from it, no different than what we try. Gotta be plugged or unplugged. to run. Either way you gotta plug them and unplug them. I think there's no way of getting away around now plugging and unplugging. Just, well hey that's right, you try it, you gotta try something. You might get more volume of water this way, you ain't fighting gravity. What's going on, ladies? Where you got, Felicity? I see you. Felicity, I see you. Are you coming to get me? You're going to be on camera. I see my little girl. Are you coming to get me? You bringing me a water? in the woods. You gonna figure a way over here? Right through here. Right here. Could you bring me a water? Thank you. Might be thirsty. Water, water everywhere. Not a drop to drink. You gonna go back on the four-wheeler? You better get trucking. Bye. Thanks, Mama. Thanks, Felicity. Well, the season's all done. Sugar bush is all packed up and put away. It's all lonely and desolate. Again, we'll be ready for next year's maple syrup harvest. Have a good one. Borderline Uper out.